Hello everyone and welcome back to Intro to College Chem. Today we're going to be doing interconverting compound SI units as a follow-up to the previous video which is just SI units themselves and their prefixes. Okay so now that we understand what prefixes are and, and how we can convert between one singular uh, unit, let's uh, convert multiple units at a time. And in this example we have 3.6 times 10 to the 4 uh, grams over moles times liters. Okay. And what we need to get to is kilograms over moles times deciliters. So the first thing I like to do is, is look at how many conversions and what conversions I need to do. As we can see here, grams needs to go to kilograms, so that's one conversion. Moles to moles, so that stays the same. And then liters to deciliters. So overall, we have two conversions. Um, what I like to do is to set up two different conversions to, to make sure I'm not messing up. Uh, but once you get more advanced and comfortable with this process, you can actually just uh, set it up all in one go and you just do one whole calculation. Um, but for now, so you can actually see how it works and get a good understanding, let's do one step at a time. So first, let's start by writing what we already have, which is a good thing to do when you're setting up your calculation. Moles per liter like that. And the calculation we're going to set up first is we're going to go from grams to kilograms first. So what we know is that if grams is on top, grams would also need to be on bottom to cancel out that unit. So that means kilograms would be on top here. And what do we know about kilograms based on the previous video is that one kilogram has a thousand uh, grams. So 10 to the third grams. And that's your conversion right there. And like I said, from this point on, you could do the other conversion, but I just like to go ahead and calculate this and then set up the other one. Okay, so now that we set this up, uh, let's go ahead and actually just uh, follow through with the calculation. Remember that the grams uh, cancel out here. Um, so now we're going to be left with 36 um, kilograms over mole times liter, right? So this is our new, our, our new value here. And this is what we will use uh, for the second conversion. Remember, we still have to go from liters to deciliters. So let's just repeat the same exact process, but now using what we have, um, the, new, the new value that we have, which is 36 kilograms uh, per mole over liter, all right? So now the, the thing we need to convert is on the bottom. Um, so we're going to have to do the same value on the top, right? Because liter needs to cancel liters uh, whichever way you go. So in this case, we need to go to deciliter, which is 1DL like that, right? And for what we know, again, from prefixes, is that 1 deciliter is 10 to the negative 1 liters, or just dividing by 10. Um, so in this case, we already set up the, the, the cancellation. Liter cancels out liter. We have what we want, which is deciliters. And now we can just go ahead and do the calculation. So 36 divided by 10. Uh, due to exponent rules, we get 3.6 kilograms over mole times deciliter. And that is your final answer right there. Okay, let's continue and keep going. Righty, so we have 3.74 times 10 to the eighth moles over kilogram times meters squared. Okay, and we need to go to moles over grams times centimeters squared, okay? So moles, moles stays the same, no change there. Kilograms goes to grams, that's one conversion. Uh, meters squared to centimeters squared, that's another conversion. Um, there's, a, there's a deviation here in how you need to do squared um, unit conversions, uh, but we'll get to that in a bit. First, let's, let's tackle yet again, going from kilograms to grams. Mm -hmm. So again, let's start with what we have, 3.74 times 10, to the eighth, right? Mole over kilogram meter cubed. Okay, so we're tackling uh, just kilograms to grams first. Uh, kilograms needs to go on top to cancel out the kilograms on bottom. Um, we know that one kilogram is 1,000 grams, and there you go, that's, that's your conversion. We can cancel out the kilograms here, like that, and then we can just follow through with the actual conversion. And we're in this case, we are dividing by a thousand. So our answer is going to be 3.74 times 10 to the fifth now instead of the eighth. Um, and now we can do our pro appropriate units, which is mole over gram meter cubed like that. Okay, so now we need to go from meter cubed 
to centimeter cubed. And I want you to be really careful here because you have to do an extra step when it comes to um, units that are either cubed or squared. Um, so in this case, it's squared, right? So initially, just set up the conversion like you normally would, right? So we're going from meters to centimeters. So meter would have to go on top to cancel out the meter on bottom, right? and one centimeter on bottom and we know that one centimeter is 10 to the negative second meters okay now you here you can notice that the meter doesn't have the the square root sign or or just being squared right here it does so in this case what you have to do is square the entire thing okay and this always stays true square the entire thing so now let's see what our new um, conversion looks like and you have to distribute that two, that exponent of two, to every single um, thing in the conversion. So let's see, 10 to the negative second, um, the exponent negative two to the exponent two, exponent rules is that if you have an exponent to an exponent, you multiply them. So then this would be 10 to the negative four now, right? We have to also take the, the, the exponent of 2 to the m to the meters so now we have m squared like that and now you can see that now we can actually do the cancellation and that's why you have to to square everything right um, so now let's do it to the bottom which would be 1 1 squared is just 1 so 1 cm cubed right and now we have the actual units that we want to get to okay so now let's just follow through with the calculation so it would be 3.74 times 10 to the fifth divide by 10 to the fourth because this is a negative exponent after all. And our final answer would be, after all that, 37.4 mole over grams per centimeter cubed. And you can go ahead and put it in your calculator to double check, but that will be your final answer. And that's how you deal with um, units that are either squared or cubed. So now let's do an example, one last example, in where the unit is cubed, okay? Um, again, we have grams to kilograms, so let's go ahead and get that conversion out of the way first. So we have 9.7 times 10 to the fifth grams over cm cubed. Okay, so first let's get, let's get rid of the, the grams to kilograms. Grams would have to go on bottom, remember that uh, one kilogram has 1,000 grams, so there we go. There's our setup. We can cancel grams. We can go ahead and do the calculation. We're dividing by uh, 1,000, so that would be 9.7 times 10 to the negative 8. Bring our new units like so. And now we can do the final conversion, which is centimeters cubed to meters cubed. Okay, so now how does this work? It works the same exact way as uh, doing with the square root, except, except this time you're just um, taking everything to the exponent of three. So first, let's just set up the initial conversion, which is centimeters to centi or to meters. Centimeters needs to go on top to cancel centimeters on bottom, right? Um, one centimeter is ten to the negative second meters, like so. And like I said, now we have to actually take this all of these to the power of three okay so now this would be let's just see what our new setup would look like by distributing that three and it would be one to the third that's just one right cm cubed now we distribute to the cm unit right over uh, negative two times three that would be ten to the negative six because we're distributing that three like so okay and now that also goes to the meters which would be like that okay so now we can go ahead and do our cancellation like we always do that cancels out and now we have the units that we want to get to and all we have to do now is input this into the calculator and our final answer is going to be since we're multiplying times 10 to the 6 because the exponent is negative 9.7 times 10 to the negative 2 grams over or my mistake, I mean kilograms over meters cubed. I made a little mistake here by not actually putting the right 
thing. So there we go. This is your final answer. Another way you could put it is 0 0.097, um, like so. And that'd be kilograms over meters cubed. And there you go. So that's how you set it up. Just remember to um, make sure you know how many conversions you have to do. Do them one at a time so you know you're doing it correctly. And if you ever see one that is either to the squared or cubed, um, set up the conversion first and then distribute that exponent to every single unit and then just do follow through with the calculation and you'll be more than fine. So go ahead and practice these and you're going to do great.